I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. In the early morning of Christmas Day in 1980, my family, including my parents, my brother, and me, boarded a bus which already packed with families and headed to Council Mill Airport in Saigon, Vietnam, for departing to the United States of America. In the, uh, in the airport, everybody had to go through a slow and complicated process of paperwork and a very thorough luggage check-in before boarding the Air France flight and fly to Thailand. At that time, I was finally relieved to leave this war-torn country where I grew up and now was occupied by the communists. It was late afternoon when we arrived in Bangkok, Thailand. We got into a bus and were driven to an abundant huge house where we had to go through another long process of paperwork before being transferred to a, ref a refugee camp. Outside of the city, each family was given a mat to cover the cement floor and sheet to use as a blanket and a room without any window or door to stay. Exhausted, we all went to sleep at 2 a.m. in the morning. Luckily, on December 30th, after only four days, my family became one of the few families that had been selected to leave the camp and depart for America. Seattle, Washington was our first stop when we arrived in the United States on New Year's Eve of 1980. In the airport, we again had to go through the same process of paperwork, but this time it was done by the experienced prisoners, who were very kind and helpful, and there were friendly faces everywhere. After the process, we got on a bus and went to a military hospital which has been changed into a welcome camp for the immigrant families. Here we ate our first real dinner since we left Vietnam and spent a sweet night in our comfortable beds. At last, we said goodbye to Seattle and flew to our final destination, Boston, Massachusetts, on January 2, 1981. The moment I saw my sister Amy, who was our sponsor, I forgot all the hardships that we went through in the past week. Because happiness filled my heart and left no place for sorrow. I was very thankful that my parents could survive with us without any burden. I was looking forward to having a new life in this country because I have a lot to learn and I want to build my future in this land of freedom. We are trying hard and working hard makes dream come true. Although I had the worst Christmas in 1980, but I had the best year of 1981, and I also realized that only the one who has once lost freedom will treasure it the most. After three months training in Career Center in Boston, I landed a job in State Street Bank where I worked for six years. In 1985, I got married with a wonderful man whom I still love for 23 years. Due to a better job opportunity, my husband and I moved to California in March 1988, and we found our sweet home in Roseville, where our son was born in August the same year. Now he has been grown up into a fine young man and a UC Berkeley. Nowadays, I'm still working as a part-time pager in downtown Roseville Library for almost five years, and my husband still works for Edgen Technologies. I feel very blessed and very fortunate wherever I look back my journey to this land of freedom, where anything will become possible if you stand positively.